where God guides, he provides. When I read this quote, my mind immediately went to Abram and Moses of the Old Testament. What heroes of faith they were. Abram was a prosperous, wealthy man of 75 years. He was very much set in his way, thriving in a bustling city and part of a family of idol worshipers. And then God made himself known to Abram. Who was this God who connected personally to a human? It must have made an impressive impact on Abram because he decided to listen to what God commanded. He left his hometown, taking his entire family on a journey to a promised land over 2,000 miles away. God was Abram's trail guide and supplier every second of the way. The life of Moses has so many physical examples for God's leading and providing, such as the splitting of the Red Sea to escape the Egyptians, manna and quail to eat, pure water from a rock to drink, the cloudy pillar by day and the fiery column by night is their GPS. These are representations of Jesus Christ himself. Theologians call them theophanies, and Jesus often referred to these theophanies when he walked on earth. In John 6, 51, he said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. John 7, 37 said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. We can apply these concepts to our daily lives. Wouldn't it be terrible if God told us to do something and then left us alone to figure it out? If God wants us to do something, he always provides what we need in abundance. The impossible becomes possible, manageable, and occasionally easy as pie. Father God, sharpen our hearing so that we can hear your voice. Give us your courage to take that first step, knowing in our hearts that you will furnish everything we need, that you will hold our hands on the journey and even carry us if we falter. Thank you, God, for being our guide and our provider. Have a blessed day.